It started like any other Tesla earnings call. Analysts logging in. Investors waiting for updates. But halfway through, Elon Musk paused and then casually dropped a statement that turned heads in every boardroom from California to Shanghai. Our current constraint is battery packs this year, but we're, we're working on addressing that constraint. Um, and I think we will make progress on addressing that constraint. Um, and then things are really going to go ballistic next year. But everyone listening knew what he meant. The game is about to change, and fast. You see, Musk wasn't just talking about profits. He was quietly announcing a technological rebellion. And its weapon? Not some futuristic compound. Not a rare earth element. But a metal so familiar, so simple, it might be in your drawer right now. Aluminum. It's hard to overstate how significant this is. Because for the last 10 years, the EV world has revolved around lithium. It's the golden ingredient in every modern battery, and China controls nearly all of it. Right now, about 95% of lithium iron phosphate batteries come from China. Over 90% of lithium refining happens on Chinese soil. Six out of the top 10 battery manufacturers? Chinese. And Beijing's government has fueled this dominance with more than 50 billion in subsidies since 2015. That's not competition. That's control. And the problem with control is this. It creates fragility. Global lithium reserves are limited. Most of them are located in just three countries. That means the entire EV supply chain sits on shaky ground. One trade war, one civil conflict, one bad harvest, and the whole thing could collapse. Now let's be real. Lithium isn't just rare, it's dirty. Every kilowatt hour of battery made from it pumps out more than two tons of carbon dioxide. So while we're trying to save the planet, we're simultaneously choking it through the battery backdoor. That's why aluminum ion tech matters. Unlike lithium, aluminum is everywhere. The Earth has over 700 million metric tons of it. It's mined in the US, Canada, Australia, and over 50 other countries. No monopoly. No bottleneck. Even better, aluminum ion batteries don't require cobalt or nickel, two metals that are not only expensive but also come with a long trail of ethical and environmental baggage. These minerals often originate from conflict zones or ecologically sensitive regions, and they're tightly controlled by a small handful of global suppliers. Removing them from the equation isn't just a technical upgrade, it's a moral one. And the performance? Let's just say it doesn't disappoint. Aluminum ion batteries charge lightning fast, up to three times quicker than current lithium packs. That means going from nearly empty to full in under 10 minutes. No more overnight charging. No more, come back in a few hours, nonsense. It's plug in, grab a snack, get back on the road. They also hold their cool. Literally. These batteries are far more stable than lithium based ones. They don't swell, they don't leak, and they don't catch fire. Whether it's a freezing winter morning in Michigan or a blistering summer afternoon in Arizona, aluminum ion batteries keep functioning exactly as they should. Their thermal range runs from minus 50 to plus 150 degrees Celsius, conditions that would push lithium cells to the breaking point. This isn't just good for the battery, it's good for peace of mind. Parents no longer need to worry about fire risks in the garage. First responders can trust their equipment to hold up. And consumers in extreme climates no longer have to fear performance drops or damage due to temperature swings. Now here's where the jaws really start to drop. Battery life. While lithium-ion batteries typically offer 1,000 to 3,000 charge cycles before showing wear, aluminum-ion batteries can exceed 15,000 cycles, all while retaining a stunning 97% of their original capacity. That's not just a few more years of use. That's a battery that could last decades. Imagine buying a Tesla, driving it for 25 years, and never needing to replace the battery. That's longer than most people keep their homes or stay in the same career. It completely changes how we think about car ownership, not just as a short-term lease or investment, but as a truly durable asset. So let's talk about what that means for everyday people. Let's say you're a middle-income worker, maybe a plumber, a rideshare driver, a grocery store manager. Or maybe you're a retiree trying to make every dollar stretch. Right now, electric vehicles still feel out of reach for many, 
especially when the battery alone can run upwards of $15,000. But aluminum ion changes the math. That same pack with similar or better performance could be built for around $3,750. That's up to 75% cheaper, and it's not science fiction. It's already in development. And that kind of price cut makes Tesla's next big move, the Model 2, more than a rumor. It makes it real. Tesla insiders have been quietly floating price estimates in the $17,000 to $18,000 range. Let that sink in. That's less than what the average American spends on gas over five years. Less than most compact SUVs. Less than a used Honda Civic. And this wouldn't be a stripped-down, no-frills car. It would still be a Tesla, with all the smart software, high safety standards, and instant torque the brand is known for. But now, it's available to people who never thought they'd own an EV. That price point is a tipping point. Analysts have long agreed that $25,000 is the magic number for mass EV adoption. But $17,000? That's a stampede waiting to happen. And there's more. Because of their simpler design, aluminum ion batteries can be manufactured faster. In fact, factories can produce up to 10 times the output using the same floor space. That means more cars, more jobs, faster deliveries, and fewer shortages. Tesla could scale harder and faster than ever before. Plus, aluminum is everywhere. The US alone produces over 1.7 million tons of it annually. It's mined in more than 50 countries, making it one of the most accessible and geopolitically safe resources in the world. Better still, aluminum is endlessly recyclable. Unlike lithium, which degrades after recycling, aluminum can be used over and over with zero performance loss. That soda can you tossed in the recycling bin yesterday? It could be powering a car in a few years. That's not just sustainability, that's circular economy in action. And when you combine all these advantages, lower cost, higher safety, longer lifespan, faster charging, and infinite recyclability, the ripple effect is enormous. Production costs plummet. EV prices drop. More people can afford to switch. Tesla sells more cars. Margins improve. And the global auto industry is forced to catch up or be left behind. And China? Well, China loses its edge. Their grip on the lithium supply chain starts to weaken. Their $180 billion battery empire starts to shake. Because if the world no longer needs lithium, it no longer needs China's batteries. It no longer fears lithium shortages or trade tensions. It no longer worries that one country can dictate the future of energy. And that's not just a business shift. That's a global power shift. You're already seeing the signs. In rural towns across the Midwest, local delivery companies are putting in orders for affordable EV fleets. In cities like Baltimore and St. Louis, families who've never considered an electric vehicle are finally seeing one that fits their budget. Mechanics are retraining. Dealerships are retooling. And battery factories are hiring. It's the beginning of a domino effect, one that starts with aluminum and ends with millions of Americans driving vehicles powered by clean, safe, affordable tech. The old arguments, range anxiety, charging time, battery fires, unaffordable prices, they're collapsing one by one. And they're being replaced with something stronger, smarter, and more sustainable. This isn't just a new battery. It's the key to unlocking the next era of transportation. It's the moment the electric vehicle becomes less of a luxury and more of a right. And it's happening not in 2035. Not someday. But now. So the next time you see an aluminum can, don't just toss it. Look at it for what it really is, the future of energy. Because the revolution isn't just electric. It's aluminum.